This video is not for the sensitive hoes. The ones who can't take anyone else's opinions except for their own. If you can't have a mature conversation, then darling, this video is not for you. You will be blocked immediately. Now remember to keep it cute, keep it mute, or get the boot. Now preparing to nanny port to Nina's raw view in 3, A2, A1. Ah, oh. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just getting a tan. You know, being in LA, it's the thing to do. <laughs> Hello, guys. It's me, Pierre, aka Nina Bonina Banana Fafana Osama Bin Laden Brown. I'm tired. It's not late, but I feel late. Yes, okay. So I was thinking, like, oh, do I want to do a jamming with Pierre? I'm too tired for that today. <laughs> I really am. <laughs> I'll do that next time. You can catch my last jamming with Pierre on my finale raw view for season one. But y'all know how we do it here. Piggies, come here to keep it cute, keep it mute, or you will get the boot. Share your opinions. Let's have fun in the comment section. So, you know, just keep it respectful. That's all. As you know, I read people's tips. Thank y'all for y'all's wonderful tips. Um, I read all the tips in the season one drag race raw view, which should be like this finale that I've already done and then the reunion will be the last episode for that so if you like the tip and all that leave all that um all the information is in the description box down below thank you in advance tipping is not a what a country in China uh, I put these um this light so damn bright, bright on my forehead but these symbols spell Pierre <laughs> so that's why I put it there um you know we're gonna read some comments yeah, this is gonna be kind of kind of a quick raw view because I I went to bed later than I should have, and I'm feeling it. But I still wanted to go ahead and record today and get that over with. Oh, and also I did a Meet the Queens raw view for um, I think UK. I think it's season five. If y'all have missed that, I want to see that. Honestly, though, if they are actually going to have a Philippines versus the world season, I think you would mesh really well with the cast and probably have more fun. Minus having to do RuPaul songs if you ever land in the bottom, which you know. And I find that the Asian franchises like Thailand appreciate and take runway looks more into a consideration than the U.S. You would be our reigning Filipino queen. <laughs> Girl, y'all swear me and the Filipino girls would get along. Oh, shout out to Mark Zapanta. They changed their name though, it seems like. But um, I'm trying to see, see can I post them here. But if y'all are... You know, you know, fellow Filipino girls out there who may be looking for like um, makeup inspiration from somebody who's, you know, I am y'all's race, of course, but you know, somebody who's like lighter tone, I guess. Yeah, you want more? You can follow them. I'm not. Mark. Mark has never told me like whether like they're he's him, her, them, they. I think he just Mark. <laughs> kind of, kind of androgyny, you know. But he does makeup and all that. So, um, yeah, y'all can go maybe follow him, shout out, even though they never shut me out. But I'm not petty. I still can't with Dee Dee attempting Naomi Small's backbend. I was like, girl, Dee Dee did not, uh, uh, Naomi Small did not come up with backbends. Like, that's the problem with, like, drag race or, like, people who, they think a lot of these people come up with these things and they don't. So, so to them, when somebody else goes on there, they're like, you're copying so-and-so. It's like, no. People have been doing backbends forever. Dancing and everything. You know, you, you, you could say Sierra did it before them, you know, with that whole Matrix thing and, and goodies. You know, if, and, and to drag race related wise, I think Tyra Sanchez did it first. I just went out there. I love the fan mail album. The last three songs are my favorites. You know what? Uh, Cause y'all y'all are into that whole music thing. I will go ahead and do a jamming with Pierre, a very tired one, but I'm gonna try to do a little bit of it. <laughs> uh, even my throat is tired. But yeah, I love the interludes too. Communication is the key to life. Oh yeah, I love the interlude too. Communication is the key to life. Communication is the key to love. There's over a thousand ways to communicate in our world today. And it's a shame that we don't connect. So if you also feel the need for us to come together, will you communicate with me? Message sent. And then it goes into love sick. Do, 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 do
I was listening to Unpretty a few days ago, and my mother said, wasn't it in the music video for the song, the girl was going to have plastic surgery? Oh. So yeah, they were talking about that, that TLC um, silly hold that I did for her, the last jam up here. So I agree that Mama Powell was way off look makeup energy-wise this season, and there's a reason for that. I don't know if you know that, Nina, but she wasn't going to be on season two. She was caught by surprise, so she had no time to fully prepare for the season. Plus, I believe she lost weight, da 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 I haven't heard that, that she wasn't supposed to be on the season. I want, If that's true, I wonder why or what happened or was it supposed to be Jiggly taking over or like what happened with that. Why did I use that deal though for 10 hours last night? I am tired. Now just imagine how long these episodes would be if they kept doing those long awkward pauses with Mama Pal like on season one. Low key, I kind of miss those. <laughs> I know. Her, her long awkward pauses. Some of y'all may notice that y'all might see this like manly looking woman um, thing that be commenting under some of y'all's comments. She's what we call a gutter butt lesbian. Her name's Rai. Um, she's always commenting under y'all's posts. I'm like, if y'all don't learn to block her. So yeah, look out for somebody named Rai underscore S82. Report her actually. I love you calling Pierre Every time you miss, you see Miss Jade, sir, I am Pierre. <laughs> Damn, do y'all skip the intro that much? Y'all don't even know that my real name is Pierre. <laughs> now I'm calling Pierre. <laughs> now I know Cam, because Cam be dragging you by your eyebrows every time y'all do a skit together. Jump her. <laughs> exactly. That's why I'm always reading her, okay? And these raw views. It's what she deserves. Did you hear that Miss Jade is so Miss J so is dating the tall pit crew guy? I haven't heard of that, but okay, I see you, Queen. Oh, what is this business of Hannah and Dee Dee though? If Hannah doesn't want her family and her partner to know that she does drag, maybe not go on an international drag competition show. She was obviously going to get away for quite a while. So what did she tell her partner and family? She has some demons to get over. I was really not okay with this whole conversation because it starts with Hannah. Right, I know, I was saying to like, these people act like they're like, I don't know, so DL, and their family doesn't know, and da, 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 but then they go on this international show where people are going to see them, and it's like, I would kind of hate that as a parent. If I, the more I think about it, I know it's hard to talk to our parents, and especially everybody's parents are different, but I would hate that as a parent that I found out that my child was this way, or whatever, on from other people on TV versus them telling me. Oh, I'm looking at this picture. My friend Akash, you know, the guy that y'all think did better than everybody in the roast, but he did not. He can never top me. I mean, he was cute for what he did. But he keeps getting pictures, or guys keep sending him pictures of booty. And he's not a bottom. I mean, a top. I think he's, like, dug around in the doo-doo maybe once in a while, but, like, he's a bottom, really. More like a pleaser. But I'm like, maybe you are appearing too butch in your grinder profile or picture. Like, what are you looking like? So then I gave him advice and I sent him these pictures. So I'm hoping that if he does this exact pose, he'll get less bottoms to hit him up. But then you might get more tops sending their ding a that nobody asked for. So I don't know. Oh, I, this is another comment. I think they told the judge to tone down her looks because it was taken away from the girls competing. No tick, no shade. No, because it wasn't like her looks were that sickening either the first season. Some of the girls had better looks then. <laughs> if that's the case, what happened with RuPaul? <laughs> no shade. I'm like all the queens out doing her now when it comes to, to when it comes to, to like being on the stage in her outfits. Oh, that's I was looking at the person I'm telling you about earlier who'd probably follow. The name on YouTube now is the Prince of Vanity. The one I said, Mark Zapanta. Oh, if anybody out there is looking for, um, you know, anybody else new that y'all can follow on OnlyFans, looks like Silky Nutmeg started one because here's a picture, appears to be a screenshot of Fortune Teller, Fortune um, popping her cherry from the back. So, if that's y'all's thing, go follow her OnlyFans. So, we're going to do jamming with Pierre. That's really how I feel right now. So, we're not going to jam too hard today because my energy is not jamming. We're going to do something that's laid back. And I know I need to like try to do different artists that I love every now and like kind of switch in between different artists and choose a song from there instead of doing like Gina Thompson again. We're doing Gina Thompson again. You can't miss it. Y'all know she's right down by Mozzarella, Pizza Bella. 
down on 54th Avenue next to Mark's house. You know, Mark was my cousin back in the Vinny, when the Vinny went to school in high school and he was a young little boy doing his thing on the Italian um, marching band. But yeah, um, so we're doing Gina Thompson again. This song is called Calling You. This is a very relaxing song. So this is from an album called If You Only Knew. This album never got released. Poor girl. It never got released. But it's been leaked, but it never got released. It got it got shelved because like Electra at the time, which she was signed to, and the whole gold Miss Yelly, like it all like Electra went away and that kind of foolery. Which probably explains why she kind of like stopped doing music after a while. Cause that that can be very depressing. But so I'm calling you, it's a very jazzy, laid back. This this kind of song that you just kind of just want to chill, kind of just bop your head with it a little bit. And I love her. I, you know, I always say I always love her. Her tone, her caddy, her kind, her caddy kind of notes. It just for me, when I hear songs, I really get lost into another world. I really do. Like I, that's, that's probably why I'm a good lip syncer because I really envision things just right away. Like for me, I'm just like I. For me, I picture if I was doing a song or heard that had a video. It's like black and white. Definitely a snapping song. You just. The way her voice, it, it, and it, she, she just sang, she's not even trying to sing hard. She's just very, just, it's very chill. It's, baby, we can get together. We can spend some time. Very just, like, making you feel relaxed. I, I love her notes. <laughs> I love all the harmonies in the background. I wanna be with you. As she's singing, like it's just so smooth. Ow! After that bridge, that. And then just. I seen the video. I, I seen the video. They're just. The people at the, their little table, round tables, taking a little sip of whatever they're drinking really quick. Ow! 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 Show me my bullet hole wet. Oh, it's amazing how she goes from talking like, Yo, Benny, this is Gina Thompson. Make sure you pick up Jerry's Laundry right next to Julio Iglesias' restaurant next to Krispy Kreme's. How she can go from talking like that to... Ow! It's almost like um, Michelle Lay. The singer Michelle Lay to have the song Something in My Heart. And I, I always, yeah, so y'all didn't know who she is. She sounds like Minnie Mouse or like Betty Boop or something. Why do you talk like that, Misha? Like, go ahead. I talk like this because I talk over my larynx. But then when she sings, it's so powerful. But it, but when she speaks, she's very like, Dr. Dre, beat me. Sing the alphabet. A, B. A, B, C, D. C. And then when she sings, she's like, oh, something in my heart. It's almost like Michael Jackson. You know, Michael's very, hey, Bubbles, don't you do that, Bubbles? Here's a banana, Bubbles. And he's like, oh, Eddie, and a funky, and a unky, and a baby, Baba. I'm like, girl, the girls are acting. Anyway, I'm tired. Dab and jam with Pietro. Sure. That sounded so good. Shay away. Oh, I swear, if RuPaul would have said those words when I was there, I would have busted one. Okay, just kidding. You know, she's my sister. She's saying things, but yet nothing's being said at all. Why do y'all sound like they don't some kind of evil chant? They're like, they're part of a cult. Let's conquer the world and make sure that everybody is okay. 
praise thee. Stop. <laughs> Hey, the new lip sync assassin. Miss J really is a top. She said it before. She really is topping the guys. Girl, now she's topping that topping that alleged tall pit pit stop guy. Okay, Miss J, so girl, we are twins though. I mean I'm I'm the better looking one though. But we're both tops. Okay, I see you, Queen. Oh, Why did <laughs> Is that Arizona? Why does she even have that wig on under that dang gold outfit? That wig is a mess. And why is it even on? Like, did you even need a wig on? <laughs> if she don't give me that raggedy ginger wig so I can cut it and put it on my damn bald ass Chucky over here. <laughs> tonight we've got it, Karen. Jiggly oh, she looked good tonight. That hair was sickening. I saw Jiggly. I'm, not, well, I'm talking about the person they showed just before her. She looked good. Jiggly looks cute, but I was looking at the picture, the proportion of Jiggly. Cause she's so short, it looked weird. Like this tall hair and then this short little body. Oh, Jiggly, we're gonna buy you some stilts for next season. I still want that guy. I still want him. I don't know why I think he's hot. <laughs> My ex really did damage me. Skinny people out there, hear me out. Don't ever mess or sleep with a bigger person. It gets into your system and then you think you want them. No. Stay skinny and be with skinny only. They'll F you up. Don't get with the bigger guy. Cause I'm like, why do I find him cute? <laughs> why? Don't do it. I'm telling you, don't do it. Girl. Please. I, whatever. Hello. Hey. Hey. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Blessed and highly favored, honey. Oh, okay. Where's Frank? I don't know where. I think he's at school <laughs> today. Oh, he's going to get education, but mm -hmm. that's <laughs> But no, but I don't want people thinking that because he's my friend, that he's telling me things that I want to hear, right? Right, right. So I'm watching that show that's called Drag Race Philippines. It should be on BET to be honest. Why is it even on anyway? And on Nickelodeon too. <sighs> and they have some queen. Oh, girl, you know that girl. Oh, she should have been sent home the first episode. Miss Jade, no. Oh, oh, Miss D definitely should have been sent home the first episode. Why was she even there? Exactly. Like, <laughs> was they, I'm like, could they not find anybody better? Right. <laughs> anyway, couldn't have called you. Exactly. Anyway, no. she has on this like brown outfit. Ugh, who wears brown, right? Oh, oh I know somebody who wears brown. Oh, disgusting. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, I just was picturing like if me and her both had on this disgusting outfit on Sheen.com. Ugh, which picture are people gonna click on to want to buy it? You, of course. <laughs> Well, I don't want to ruin your day. I want you to. Oh, no. Be, uh huh. It was a pleasure. <laughs> oh, be blessed, child. Thank you, Queen. All right, I'll girl. You Good to talk to you later, honey. Okay, bye. Bye, queen. girl. I swear. So now we know that it's not just one person telling me the truth. Okay, let's move on. They are so proud of those little badges. I told you I have like 10 of those just from. Them wow for them sending it to me. I didn't have to go on the show to win them. <laughs> Dang. Was this close to the fucking win yet again? I don't know. Aquarius, please don't transition. This is, this is your future right here. <laughs> oh, and so many of y'all were agreeing with me that that um she kind of like um Chaka Khan. <laughs> I thought she does. Like you just have to picture her with big red hair and her makeup on. <laughs> Why is she backing up? <laughs> she was scared of him. <laughs> you will all be painting your faces in just five minutes. <laughs> but is it really a challenge? Like, I think they have to do like they have the mini thing of like doing their makeup in five minutes. But isn't that what they kind of normally do when they have these quick little mini challenges? And they be like getting quick drag. It's like 
What's the difference? And do these girls need a mini challenge every day? <laughs> makeup and beauty products. I'll be watching. So don't forget to make me blush with your toe. Girl, please. You can never be Philippines. Girl, you're ne you never can be part of us. Not our culture. Go away. Peasant gone. In other words, Miss Nirvana. Bagpipes come from far away. Huh? <laughs> Waiting for a reply. Read in autumn. <laughs> oh, they all have to share one little mirror. <laughs> and you know, Ovi or Ovi head big as hell. <laughs> so he need to be in the back. <laughs> See? <laughs> Even he just said, and some of their faces are huge. <laughs> you know he's talking about Ovi. <laughs> no, Ovi got a big old moon pie face, okay? <laughs> But why does five minutes kind of seem longer? <laughs> like, damn. Literally, I feel like Jay still looked the same when she came in. <laughs> Is Mile Powell topping him? <laughs> I'm like, somebody's topping this young man right here. I don't know who's doing it, but somebody's topping him in that studio. And one, two, three. What look are you going for? Serve, Quirius, serve! I made a picture was kind of cute, though. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that wig kind of cute, but then kind of not? But eyeliner. I made that shadow begin to look like Bernie has some hairy ass armpits. <laughs> now they photoshopped that. <laughs> no shade. <laughs> I'm like, the lighting is really helping. <laughs> See, that was literally Shaka Khan from her little 80s album cover thing. I feel for you. You know I love you. Gave her Ariana Grinder. Ariana Grinder. <laughs> but why is that? I don't think she meant to say that, but why is that? That could be a Sydney drag name. Ariana Grinder. <laughs> when I die quickly, and well, when I die soon, because I'm getting old, and I'm re reborn again as a Caucasian Asian nymph, my new drag name will be Ariana Grinder. Vegas. I kind of knew she was gonna win because they kept showing her a lot, a whole lot. LGBTQIA+. You are the ones who champion the community. Our oh please, we leave each other behind all the time. We're the worst ones for ourselves. <laughs> yeah, that first one, I don't want. <laughs> or the third one. Yeah, actually none of them. <laughs> Maybe the second one, I want the second one. <laughs> Go in the old Asian trade, the fourth one. <laughs> Challenge the Sheikwell. Wow. I'll be like, my pal, can we please call it something else besides twinning? Because I'm not twinning with none of them. Okay? Thank you. Girl. <laughs> God damn. How are you still breathing? <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> Now that, now that I get an email that says from from saying from my pal saying that's my granddaddy. <laughs> I'm like, whoa! Like you, when you can literally see the bones, that means like time is close, girl. <laughs> but I'm, but I mean, it's a blessing that they're still here. But it's just like, wow! Like how old is he? I wonder. Wow! So and it's all that's gonna all be a, be us if we all live that long. Ugh. And then it'll be a new Pierre doing reviews, reading my old ass. <laughs> so they're doing, I guess, the makeover challenge with top six. So, okay. I can probably just kind of just go towards that. <laughs> Not the little turn. <laughs> oh, she ready. Okay. She said, honey, I ain't got no teeth, but girl, I have the walk, okay? <laughs> Dang, she don't want to go away. <laughs> she keeps acting like she's about, she about to go away. And I'm 71 years old. Oh, but I, and also, I'm not 71 years old, but I'm also a different country. And also, I'm a different country, but I'm also 71 years old. Hello. 
I'm not. I want him. He still got that thing. Girl, is she dead in the back? Is she sleeping? <laughs> I was like, I'm mad they changed the music for him though when he came in to this sexy kind of music. <laughs> You're 93? I know I'm reading over here making funny jokes, y'all. Just funny jokes. Just, just just some funny little shady jokes. But the fact that he's 93 and doesn't even look 93. That is... Now, if somehow that guy in a white shirt comes next and says, he's 74, bitch. Because <laughs> he should be 93. And add a zero. <laughs> but the fact that he is... 93 years old. You go, boy. You go, boy. I'm like, my pal, if you don't get them old, them old heifers some, some chairs. <laughs> oh, she still got it. <laughs> oh, this is so sad, though. I don't know why I'm sad. Like, oh, I'm sad. I'm just like, this is going to be, this is all of us. I know that a lot of times, like, we kind of look over old people, like, in, like, look past them and don't see them, whatever. But it's like, they still want to have that fun and have that youth and be sexy and fun, but just look like prunes. Oh, oh, <laughs> I'm telling you, <laughs> getting old is a blessing and a dang curse. Ah. <laughs> uh. You're only 47? Well, oh, <laughs> I know I read Carmen for filth, <laughs> but y'all know when I read people, it's just really for real. It's out of fun. Like, it's no hate or anything, but not Miss Carmen. <laughs> Miss Carmen is still taking the D like cranberries. Okay. <laughs> no, honestly, comment section. Would y'all sleep with somebody like that? Because you know, a lot of y'all love y'all sugar daddies. And that's beyond sugar. That's a little flour too. Um, <laughs> I, for now, be, be for real. If this person was to pay y'all to top them or bottom for them, well, I doubt I doubt it can get up. But I could be surprised. Would y'all do it? <laughs> Not dust. <laughs> I'm over here trying to think, could I do it? Would I do it? Cause I, cause I have had like sex with people who I kind of just felt bad for them, and I'm just like, oh, they need love too. And then I paid for it with chlamydia. But um, whatever. That I do. <laughs> See, I knew somehow he was going to be younger than the 93 year old. Somehow. <laughs> somehow he managed to be younger. Somehow. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, Mama Teeth look like two picks. <laughs> I got to fast forward this. I am reading too much. Today is a reading rainbow and I need to stop my mess. Because <laughs> <I'm, laughs> Lord knows I'm going through some stuff right now with my teeth, okay? And trying to hold on to them. And you will pair each of the golden gates with our teeth. Bernie's body. Girl, look, that Bernie, girl... Did you take double, double hormones? Because the breasts are breasting. <laughs> I swear your breasts ain't seen that voluptuous and big this whole season until today. The push-up bra is pushing. Mama, okay. She said, Miss Jade, no. Look at me. Oh, I'm surprised Bernie chose her. Okay. Oh, Bernie's messy. <laughs> I would not speak to Bernie at all because there is no hope. There is no hope. There's not There's not any ounce of makeup that can do anything. There's nothing I can do. That's now that's when you turn a bitch to a character. That's when you get that's when you get all the prosthetics. <laughs> that's when you attempt to do the sad bunny look I did on season nine. <laughs> I would kind of want the nine year him as well for multiple reasons. Free deals, our makeup, Anastasia Beverly Hills cosmetic. Oh, mom, pal, I don't think Anastasia's going to help today. <laughs> you got any clay, any mud? 
Derm Dermaville. <laughs> Madonna. I'm just imagining one of them croaking on the main stage. <laughs> and the judge is thinking that it's part it's part of the show, of the routine. <laughs> it's like why can't we just turn old but not get like eye bags and skin sagging and all that stuff? Like like, like why can't we just Look how we look and we just get older and then die. <laughs> like, why does our body have to just physically, like, deteriorate in front of our faces? Like, like, cause, like, I, I remember the days of, like, just putting on concealer just because, like, just, for no reason. I didn't need it. Just, just, I mean, and I still don't really need it now. But, like, but now I kind of feel like I do sometimes. Like, now I feel like I'm putting it on because I'm really am trying to, like, minimize or hide stuff. But bad thing was just like, girl, concealer for no, like for what? <laughs> just, just cause like, well, but but then, but but then when you start re realizing that you actually really need it, you're like, yeah, I'm getting older. <laughs> why can't we just not? Why, why? Cause I ain't gonna lie, for real, if I was still somehow doing drag and I get you know that that kind of age, I would be sad doing it because I would never feel pretty. And then that's just me. That's my own insecurity, my own issue. Because because these people probably feel beautiful, and they should feel beautiful about 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 themselves. But me, I would not feel pretty at all. I would not feel pretty. I would feel so ill. Like I have all these bags under my eyes, and I just would not feel like doing drag because I wouldn't feel cute. Honestly, I, I really wouldn't. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I hate that damn wig. <laughs> Girl, what and Lucy from Charlie Brown? Yo, not got not got her looking like asthma. <laughs> asthma and gold instead of purple. Now after doing that, she says, "Baby, can you fix my arm socket? My arm just came out." <laughs> I'm just having a, I'm just having a vision of um. <laughs> of my kind of daughter getting on Drag Race in America, whatever. And they have the same kind of challenge for Drag Race in America. And then she tries to sneak me in. It's like Mother Maybelline, hoping that they don't know. And then like, at the end of the, and then on the main stage, I come out me look, looking all young. And I'm like, she really painted my face. Wow, just look at what makeup can do. You see it. How about mini makeup and go? Now she's doing his makeup and like, am I hurting you? Like, am I being too rough around your eye? Do you hear me? Let, let me know if I'm being too rough. Sir? Oh shit, he's dead. Her <laughs> guidance. Oh, now she's gonna do drag in her compression socks. Oh, help a Jesus. Uh oh. Okay, no. Okay, They're like, child, I don't care what y'all put me in. I'm old, child. I'm dying tomorrow. Do what you gotta do. <laughs> I would put my old person in heels. Girl, I, I, uh, I don't care if you're 85 years old. You gonna put on these goddamn stilettos while I wear flip flops? Girl, excuse you. One of us gotta do drag, right? <laughs> but then, like, insist on long heels. Oh, oh, oh. Girl, Miss Carlton said, I'm going to wear heels. Okay. They don't call me Filipino Crip, crip Keeper for nothing. Girl, he gonna put on no damn heels and strut. Okay. <laughs> Girl, what? And Serena Cha Cha at 85? <laughs> right, you know that wig way more than her. <laughs> oh, see, even they're making fun. I'm saying, laying on the floor like like, like a corpse. <laughs> see, it's just all fun and jokes until it actually happens. <laughs> Dang, she walking confident. I think she just looks like a pace of Brooklyn Heights. Does she know what she be doing? <laughs> it's like she looks so lost. She does look pretty. I like the wig on her, but dang, where is the chest? Come on, pal. 
come on, doc. Come on. You're supposed to be like the judge and like leading these girls and people watching you to like, can you please try to keep the drag alive a little bit? Like you do look nice, but like, even if you're not going to like, I, I get it. Certain things you really can't put on breast, unless you have a breastplate, but you could at least like draw a contour, a shape of a breast or something just to give something there. But the look, I'll, I'll, I'll rent it, I guess. Even though I kind of like the yellow that much, but I'll, I'll rent it. Is there a girl you'd like to give a make over? Dang, a lot of the Filipino girls tonight have wigs leaning to the side. <laughs> Is that the theme for tonight? Me, Carmen de la Rue, and she is so small. I just wish she would have gave her a smaller wig or something. That wig is just too big for her. It's too big for this little person. Um, but I'm I'm happy that she wearing heels at that age. Wearing heels, and it's nice. These people get at this age get to be on a TV show like this, even though it's not the American one. Um, <laughs> Y'all know, I, y know I have to give a compliment and then and, and throw in a little shade. But that is nice, though. Oh, I will. I want to probably rent everybody just for the mere fact that they like. They're there and they're breathing. <laughs> no. Who is the past, the right now, and the future. Secretly, how skinny is this? she is? She, they might use her in the model world. You know, that's how skinny they, they want you to be. I was looking at y'all and looking look at the screen. I'm like, dang, Jiggly looks scary. <laughs> for a second, I'm like. Jiggly, why are you on the stage and why your and why your wig change color? For runway, of course. Oh, hey, she did that because I'm like looking at like, wait, who's that? That's ninety three year old trade. Hold on. There's gonna be Ala on the runway. I'm buying them. I would love to see the ninety three year old's parents and his family. They must really age really really young, for real, because this person is not ninety three years old. Or what I think a nine year old should look like. The hell yeah! They're, her pads are kind of showing, but I'm gonna let it slide. The family mama paring is a pageant queen. Ow! But honestly, you could like she said that that her she used to perform, and I can tell. I, I'm not sure if she's like still trans, but I can tell she was taking hormones and doing things like that for that industry. But yeah, I'm not surprised she looks like a drag queen because she used to do that. So I'm gonna buy this. Bernie know know what she was choosing. <laughs> and she probably feels so good doing that again, like on a main stage like this on Drag Race. She's probably like, oh, why can't I have this out back in my day? Category is. Yeah. I don't even know who that is. Uh, wait, oh, that's the other. Wait, is that the one that had the red, the red-haired old lady? Cause I'm like, did she give? Did Betsy give her a tan too? <laughs> she looks darker. Or is that the one they had on the turban? Either way, I'll rent this though. Praise the Lord, she's bossa, floral. She moving though. <laughs> she moving. In silver, I'm maybe captivating me. Okay, queens. I like the cover it up more to be honest, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna I'll I'll I'm gonna rent it because the bottom kind of falls short for me, especially on Cat Cat. I'm gonna rent it, but it's still it nice. I I uh, oh. Oh. oh not and a wig reveal. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, uh, see, I've never seen a tinsel wig in gold. I never looked for one either, but I have a silver shorter one than those. But the gold one is kind of nice. The wig is actually really nice because because those tinsel wigs can look a mess, but it actually looks like it's a lace a lace <laughs> tinsel wig. I'm like the way it's laying so flat on her head is really nice. It is a Did she just do that? The <laughs> Okay, but so messy too. Though. We are the house of Zeus. But why, Miss Jade? What's going? What's what's happening? Oh, they're supposed to be like together, a breast, a whole, a, a breast, like a, a chest, like two together. But they just look like pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> these are pregnant. I feel like Miss Jade so try is maybe trying to do too much. These like. You could have just I don't know. That's, no, this this falls flat. And then not and not once. I'm not seeing y'all staying together. Like maybe if y'all stood together side by side, it. But no. Breast, breast. Breast. I wonder if her partner feels how my partner felt. I finally get to get in drag, bro. 
And this this coolie yo lady over here turned me to a bunny, yo. I I could have been in drag, yo. Man, bro, home. Home, bro. My mom had chemotherapy and Okay. She said, I'm going to save myself and mention that this look was inspired by cancer. And so this is going to hopefully get me at the bottom. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't with her being all emotional and, the, and her partner is over there just rubbing her nipple. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, she's just over there just rubbing. Like, she's, she's a whole titty and just, whole, just rubbing herself. <laughs> <laughs> I know that Jay's nails look like um root beer. Right. I wonder did she do that look to get the guy's attention? Mr. Titty in the morning, Titty in the evening. Oh, this one's a tight one. <laughs> and there's the other one. Jiggling titties, hey? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> We're all safe. Miss Jade, so is safe. How? It, it, I'm telling y'all, it was a story. The story saved her, cause she should be in the bottom. I'm sorry, they look a mess. The, I, it, it, it looks a mess. It does not read well. They just didn't want her to go home, cause she been in the bottom all, all, the, all these times secretly. <laughs> oh, not Jiggy laughing at at them being um, paranoid and, and having anxiety. <laughs> She's like, I'm behind the judge panel now. I can laugh at y'all. <laughs> like, Jiggly, you were once there too, girl. Anxious and nervous. And <laughs> Wait. How is Bernie... Wait. How is Bernie lip syncing? Wait, 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 wait. And wait, who else? Who? Okay. To be honest, I didn't care for Ovi's that much, and that's just because like I feel like she had a she really had a t kind of a harder person to work with as far as like physicality, like look wise, and the here sliding here. But oh, for the win, oh lip sync. But quick, not Aquarius um spoiling it, but I haven't, but they haven't got, they haven't got to that part yet. You are the top queens of the week. Now you spoiled it, bitch, girl. Now, now if you if. If you're going to watch the show, don't come here spoiling stuff. You know better than that. Anyway, somebody here ruined the moment and let me know ahead of time that it's for the win. Okay. I like how they did that, though. I'm like, that's... Because I'm like, there is no way these people are in the bottom. That's why Jiggly was laughing. But still, though, I guess they didn't want to send nobody home. And it would have been Miss J. So in that bottom. <laughs> By Vernie Varga. <laughs> Not the quietness. They're like, okay. Wait, why does it sound familiar? It sounds like one of those 80s songs. I can't think of the name. But it's, it sounds like it's, they took it from another song or something or beat. Oh, I think it sounds like, I'm so excited. And I cannot hide it. I know, I know, I know. I'm going to block Quirious. Quirious. That's what it sounds like, the beat, the way the beat comes on. No, Ovi. No. Why you had to take, take, take the top off? Why you had to take the top off? Ew, he just looks sloppy. I just see a young boy in his room playing in, playing in his mama drag. <laughs> That's really all I see is a young boy just playing in his mama's room, putting on her wig and her... And tying a towel around his waist for a dress. <laughs> Girls, if we can't do splits, don't do them. You don't have to always do a split in a mother effing song. Damn, y'all swear a split in a tired wannabe death drop is going to save y'all. I'm sorry. You don't have to always pretend to know how to do a split, girl. Just perform to the song. And if you can't do one, don't do it. So tired of y'all on these sideway plops. Like, just don't do it. It's okay. If you, like, come on. Okay. <laughs> please stop showing Ovi. <laughs> just please stop showing Ovi. I am just like, ugh. Please stop showing him. Meh. But Bernie did better. 
You are the top queen of the week. Well, duh. <laughs> Get down on your funky feet. Your Can they please? I swear they like to taunt me in these shows. I will. I freaking hate that funky song in the background so much. RuPaul, I know you hate me. I know you despise me. I know you wish me nothing but ill will. But can you do me one favor? You don't want to pull your wigs down. That's fine. Can you please change that background song? From get down on your funky feet when you get down on your funky. Like, please change that. I'm so tired of my nostrils flaring from hearing that. Stop. You're also safe. And yeah. Yeah. She should not be safe out there looking like that. <laughs> Child, the damn words sweating off my forehead. I can't. That episode was actually pretty funny, though. <laughs> I actually kind of almost watched all of it. It was just kind of funny and just kind of cute. And for real, y'all, don't take... I know most, most of 97% of my fans here <laughs> know that my jokes are just jokes. It is. But in the, in the long run, in, in the real thing, like, those old people being there, that was so cute and so wonderful to see, you know. And I'm glad they had fun. hope they had fun and had a good experience. They, could, they can... I would say they can cherish that forever, but... That forever is coming really soon. Um, <laughs> oh, anyway, so I, was, I will see you guys for the next one. Girl, the girl's been begging me to do um Germany. I'm trying to like get done with this and get done with the season one thing first, and then maybe like do like a speed run of the whatever episodes came out, the runways and stuff for Germany. We'll see. But yeah, I'll see you the next time. As always, stay beat, stay beautiful. Most importantly, stay blessed. Kimacho or Kamochi. Bye bye. Yes. <laughs>